finally back in the camper. We're going on our first camping trip after two months. Two months. Almost three months, I think. We are pretty avid campers. Uh, we're camping about almost every weekend, really. Uh, but this has probably been the longest time that we've had left the camper unattended. But anyways, today we're going with uh, Anthony and Alfredo are coming with us. They have their new rig, got a fifth wheel. So yes. today's topic is how to overcome jealousy. <laughs> no, no, so that's, that's another video. Uh, <laughs> we are going to a campground. It's Travel Resorts of America. Yes. No, Travel Resorts of America. From what I understand, it is basically a timeshare for RVers. So we will give you some more information as we find out. But my understanding is Turn right, uh, Georgia 53 East. The light. The light? Yeah. My understanding is they have several campgrounds. And when I say several, I mean like a handful, maybe half a dozen. Uh, it's a, a one time payment. I've heard upwards in the double digits of thousands of dollars. And uh, you can use Turn those right facilities, I believe, East. whenever you want. At the light. Turn Similar right to a timeshare. Um, there are a couple videos out there on YouTube about them, but there are not many, which is why we wanted to shoot this one. There's a lot going on, a lot to cover with us as a channel. Uh, so we're kind of dropping you off right in the middle of everything that's going on. But uh, I thought this was important enough because I could not find a lot of information about it. Like I said, a handful of videos. Uh, and surprisingly, a lot of videos I found were negative about this company. Now, I don't want to jump to conclusions, but we're kind of going in there with that notion. Uh, another thing is those for you who know me, uh, I am, how would you say, pretty gullible. Uh, if it weren't for my wife, I would probably own three timeshares right now, looking to go buy my fourth. So uh, part of this weekend, we'll see how much I can keep my mouth shut. And don't and, ask questions. Don't ask questions. So, um, but as we find out stuff, we'll try to shoot the campground and then we will update you guys on what we find, kind of what they go over and try to give you a little more breakdown in case uh, you're approached by them or you're interested, maybe something for you and your family uh, to, to look into. But uh, as we go this weekend, we'll just give you some updates. First, we have to get there. Where am I? I'm seeing like horse fields and farms. Yeah, in the middle of nowhere. All right. So we'll let you know. Another couple pulling in. I don't want to be in 
intrusive on them, but I want to show you their camper. One thing so far we see about these sites, I don't know if you can see it in the video, but their camper, like, they're on a hill backing down, and I, they're gonna have a hard time getting level. Only because, you can't really see it in the video too well, but we're also on a hill, and I've got the jack, as low as it can go. I just can't get it any lower unless I took it off the block, which I'm not gonna do for two nights. But technically the camper's still not level, still a little tongue high. There are the Rendons. We thought they were gonna get next to us, but apparently not. All right, babe, Sabrina and I are gonna go make some friends. Let's go. Have fun. I saw a nice fifth wheel up that way. <laughs> that The people look really nice. Okay. We're gonna go meet them. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey. Um. No, Theo. No. I'm Matt. I'm Matt. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I don't think you can, I don't think you're free right there. Uh, Hi. Hey. What's, what's your side? name? My name is Antonella. Well, we were, uh, we we wanted to come make some friends that we that we that we that we don't know. That we don't know. <laughs> Uh, and we saw your fifth wheel and we was like, those look like pretty cool people. So we thought we'd come and oh, say hi. Nice. Hey. Cool maybe, maybe you'd like to have dinner with us tonight? Yeah. 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 Have another awesome. <laughs> All right, so we finished our sales meetings. So. Pao actually originally made the reservations. So we got two nights free camping to actually come here and with a promise of getting, was it uh, three, three vouchers? Yeah, three vouchers, seven days. Three seven day vouchers. So 21, 21 days. days total camping free after just to attend the meeting. Uh, if you've ever been to a timeshare meeting, it's very similar to that. You're not buying a timeshare but the whole model is very similar to a timeshare. So we're gonna to come to you and let you know our experiences just so you guys have a, a pretty good sense if you want to maybe check it out. I wanna give you a little bit of perspective because uh, we were not supposed to be here together. Uh, yeah. <laughs> she had called and asked her sister to come and they said, no, you can't really make it a group because they really want you here to enjoy, uh, to really learn about what they're doing here and not make it like a group trip family vacation thing. So we'll give you a little backstory on the campground. Uh, it's on Lake Oconee. Uh, it's, a, it, it's a very nice campground. I wouldn't personally qualify it as a luxury RV resort. Uh, if, you, if you are familiar with camping on lakes, those of you who are in Georgia, we do a lot of Lake Lanier camping. Uh, it's very similar to an Army Corps of Engineers campground on a lake uh, with a pool. I think a pool in the clubhouse, so you don't have those amenities typically. Uh, but the actual RV resort feel, I really didn't get. Uh, it is the end of fall, so uh, the activities are going on, but there's not quite as many. The pools are closed, um, so I'm sure there's a little more hustle and bustle here. It was originally a KOA campground that they had purchased from KOA. Uh, what they've said is that they kind of take the problematic campgrounds that aren't doing very well, and they purchase them from KOA. So even though you may see some KOA signs in the videos. It is not a KOA campground. So there's a few videos out on YouTube about this company. I didn't find very many, and honestly, the ones that really are out there have a, a negative connotation towards this company and the practices kind of how they use to try to sell you. I have to be honest, I didn't feel that. We have been to several timeshare meetings, and this was probably the most painless one I've been through. They were very up, very straight up, very upfront with what they wanted to sell and really i i have been pushed a lot harder to buy into something yeah than, this time it was easy yeah so at, from one to ten this was a two as far as being painless and not feeling pressure which was not really what i got from some of the other videos so we wanted to let you know kind of what the the most up-to-date i don't know if they changed some of their practices or their structure but it was fairly painless i will say i like the concept uh pretty much what they're selling is they've got uh, i believe seven base campgrounds that are their, considered their home campgrounds, but they're part of a bigger network. So what you can get is within that network, I, I really don't know the number. They, they say 200 something. Okay, so 200 something yeah. statewide um, that you could stay at for free. Um, the problem I had with that is the map they give you, is, it shows the United States, and then take for example, Georgia. 
Uh, one campground in Georgia, the, the star that signified this is where the campground, the star was about the size of Fulton County. So it covered a huge part of the state. Why? So when you put stars or circles in red yeah. throughout the state map, that's the map. Make the, the markers for the campgrounds that big on the map. The whole map is covered in Red, red and, and blue. And, well, red and blue. Yeah, not to get political. <laughs> but red and blue. Yeah, but yeah. red and blue. Uh, it, it's covered in the campground. So it looks like it's covered a lot. Again, us having traveled up and down the, the eastern seaboard and all over the place, it's if you really start breaking it down, those should be about a pinhole size on a real map. A lot of you guys are already using all stays. We use all stays a lot too. If you look at an all stays map, uh, there are campgrounds all over the place. So you really get a sense of where you can stay. When you're familiar with an app such as Allstays and you look at this map and you really put it in perspective, it's really not that impressive. So for the amount of money that they were asking to buy into this program, to what you really get, if you're really serious about traveling, I think the, the problem we would face is route planning. You know, where do we want to go and how do we have to route it to get there to be able to stay in these free campgrounds? So again, I like the premise, I like the idea, I think for the cost, it was a little overpriced for what you get. And I think at one point they asked me too, like, well, what, what would make you get into this? And I, I pretty much told them, I said, you need to cut the price, you know, to a third of what you're asking or add 20 times more campgrounds. Yeah. <laughs> one of the two would make one it worthwhile. Yeah. Um, I think there's, I think there's some better <coughs> programs out there um, that, that would get you what you want. But honestly too, it, like even timeshares, there's maintenance fees. I think if you add the two up, it came to around uh, just shy of a thousand dollars. Two thousand dollars. Because this one, this one is six thirty one. Right. Yeah. Cost to cost is two thirty five. Something like that. That's three nine nine. It was like almost four hundred dollars. So right there you get nine hundred to a thousand dollars. Right. And then you have to pay the monthly fee, which will if you be, finance it, yeah. Right, which will be another thousand dollars. It's almost two thousand dollars. Yeah. So. Two thousand dollars for six years until right? you pay it off. Yeah. Until yeah, you pay it you off, pay and then you have a thousand dollars. That will never go away. But yeah. the problem that I see with this campsite, this one will be your home campsite. So you have to come here to be for free. Yes. And it's two hours away from home. And see that, and they were a little. That's that's where I got a little bit lost because yeah, you have one home campsite. I got. But then you're part of this that. network. That yes. you can stay for free, free. though. So yeah. Well, no, the blue one is not for free. You so get $10. discount. It's a twenty-five dollar. You get discount. Twenty-five dollars to oh. fifty dollars discount for coast to coast. I feel like this one to be home in Georgia. It's like one of the spot. Yeah. It will be a forgetting. Like, this is not the the right place to come. If you buy a property, you want the property to look nice. If you want to sell something, you want it to be, you know what, this is like really nice. Buy this because this is what I'm selling. This part, it doesn't have the standard. I, I, the people are really nice. And what they're trying to sell, the concept, the network, is really nice. It makes sense when you see the numbers, but this part of what they have doesn't make sense. To me, it didn't make any sense. Like, we like to go to Panama City. Yeah, they don't uh, have any campgrounds. They don't have, like, they don't have anything. Nothing but the beach. So I say, yeah. you, if you have something, Panama City, Santa Rosa Beach, San Destin, Destin, anything close to that place where I know every single year I'm going to go because that's what I've been doing for the last 14 years, I'll buy you whenever because it makes sense. Mm -hmm. I'm going to pay for something that I'm going to use. use yeah. But if you don't have anything that works for me, it doesn't make any sense. So the problem is, they're selling you something that for most people won't make any sense. That's the biggest problem. Yeah. And that's a great point. And I think I, I think what the problem is, is right now in the RV industry, there is so much competition. We know people who do thousand trails and even, and this is where you have to balance the price with it too. I mean, even a subscription to thousand trails is way cheaper than what they're offering here. And I would venture to bet, don't quote me on the numbers, but I would venture to bet if you matched up thousand trails membership with the RV parks you get versus this, I would, they're probably pretty close to even. They're probably so close to call that it's hard to tell for five times the price. It just, you know, at the end of the day, I like the concept. I, I just, for what you're getting, I just don't think it's worth it. And then 
our style of traveling too is we really hate to be locked down. I would rather plan a trip around where I want to go than have to plan route plan a trip to where I can stay. Yeah. Uh, and it's a little it's two different modes of thinking, I guess. Yeah. You know, some people just want to get out, get away, and just stay at a place. And in this circumstance, it really takes a lot of the thinking and stress out of the equation. And I think for that, it, it may be something to to look into. Um, and I'd be really interested to jump into your, your guys' uh, actually experience because it sounds like we got different pricing too. We were presented uh, the original, what was the original, the full blown, like big something. shebang, everything you can get package was 14,000. 14,000. Yeah. Yeah. Like 15, everything. We got $21,000. <laughs> okay, so. We got $21,000, but we supposed to get a discount. Yeah, it would be too like twenty fifteen thousand. Fifteen thousand. And yeah. if you don't and get the, the guy, uh, what was the name? Yeah, it depends on what package they you also, get. Like the basic package is, is only six thousand, and then you get if you get like the vacations on cruises and stuff like that. And hotels. They are, uh, hotels, and hotels yeah. They give you and then stuff. yes, based on what you pick, it's like the prices change. They say that you can lock it for a year, like not pay for that, and then. Yes. So have, there was two. There were two payments. You have the base payment to get the, their home park and then the expanded parks and then you have one with the travel discounts. So for me, it, it's just really not worth it. And then I have the freedom to go wherever I want for the location destination instead of booking because this is where I have to stay. But honestly, these people are great. They're, They're very nice. very nice people. Because of it too, I will say that uh, we've been, this is, we've been how many? Three timeshare mm -hmm. meetings before? But we get, you know, a free weekend and we get to stay or we've gone to the beach before. I would say this was the most painless yes. sales nice meeting out. Nice out of all of them. One of the concepts that makes sense for us, like we like camping life. We right. love this. So this is something we're going to do this year, next year, and next year. So it's going gonna, it's gonna to happen. Yeah. We're going to spend money. We're going to try to do boondocking and no new places. And the way they present the number is like, on the long term, we're going to save money. Yes. We're going to save money, but not the place we're, we're going to go. Yeah, right. Right. No, you know yeah. start, no yeah. with the amenities we want to have. Yes. No the places we want to be. Still and that's the biggest, the biggest drawback we have. And so I would say that's one thing if you're looking at something like this. Um, I We watched some videos before and uh, there were some negative ones. Uh, so I kind of went into this expecting a big sales push, a big pressure, thumb down to your neck. Type, and it was not at all like that. Uh, so I would say kudos to the company. Um, they, uh, you always go in with a little bit of hesitation. They ask questions, you know, how do you travel? Where have you been? Trying to get to know you. Uh, I, I always feel like okay, you're asking me this stuff because you're trying to learn where you can hook me. But at the end of it, I really felt like they were asking those probing questions to really see what kind of program fit for me. Yeah. And I think our, our sales lady yeah. in the beginning, when she told us, she says, you know, I'm just going to present the stuff and see if it fits for you. And if it does, you'll buy it. And if it doesn't, you can go enjoy your weekend. And that, that's exactly that's what happened. happened. Yeah. All wrapped up, I think that this could work for some people. I think uh, some RVers uh, who maybe don't have quite that sense of adventure that we do to just uh, drop everything at the drop of a hat and go out and uh, we do a lot of Cracker Barrel parking lot camping. Uh, so we're not afraid to just head out. Again, we plan our routes by the destination. If we end up somewhere and we don't have a campground, we have stayed at Cracker Barrels, We've stayed in a Walmart parking lot that we got kicked out in the middle of the night right, uh, right. because they started repaving the roads. So I, we're not afraid to not get a campground. And then eventually, usually the next day, we find some place. Uh, we love staying in RV resorts with full hookups. I right, personally yeah. love full hookups. Um, yep. But we don't necessarily plan our trip around the campground. Uh, we plan our trip around the destination. And so I think in this package, it really just doesn't quite fit the, our style of traveling. I think there may be some of you guys out there, this may work for you. Uh, and it'd be definitely something to look into. I think for sure, all of you should at least get your 21 days for free. Yeah. So even if you're not interested, you can come, listen to their sales pitch, get a weekend for free and get 21 days for free. Now, I will tell you with the 21 days, a, it was a little confusing at first. It's not 21 days free camping, exactly. It's three vouchers of seven days. So definitely check it out, but we wanted to come and we want to give you an update. Again, not a lot of information out there. So we just wanted to help 
give you a better decision process as far as if it's something that may be a good fit for you or not. Alfredo, what do you got cooking for us tonight? It's skirts, potatoes, and salad. Then you got a special steak, it's called the Gloria Steak. We came from Gator. <laughs> Gator Town, Gator Town. Gator Town! <laughs> it is amazing. So it does look right like the state of Florida. <laughs> yeah, it does. Yeah, you got Miami right here. <laughs> and Pensacola, that's yeah. right. Yeah, like Tampa is like here. I get it, I get it. Okay. All right, good deal. Nice. And that. Okay, so we have Vicente. My nephew is visiting us from Peru. He's actually been here for quite a few months because of COVID. He couldn't get back to Peru. So he's been lucky enough to stay here almost a year now, right? Yeah. So keep an eye on this guy. He is the up and coming singer. He's got a he's starting a YouTube channel. So if people want to follow you, where can they go? Uh, they can go to Vicente Music on YouTube okay. and Vicente Music of, on Instagram. There you go. Vicente Music on YouTube and Vicente Music on Instagram. Yep. Now he's actually on a couple live channels in Peru. I've seen him singing covered by the news over there. So look him up. He's a great talent and we're going to bring you some live music specifically for us on this channel. All right, Vicente, that was uh, an original song of yours? Yes. Original song. Awesome. As you see right now, we've got a little uh, Florida Gator win party. It's hard to be in a Gator fan living in Georgia, but we won, so... Siempre pasa por mi mente el tenerte aquí presente. Yo que a veces me pregunto por qué tú entre tanta gente. No quiero sonar grosero, si es que aquí hay un mundo entero. Yo que a veces me pregunto por qué te escogí primero. Es que tengo muchas ganas de volver a recordar la primera candidata en esta lista enamorar. Pero si es que no eres tú, no hay nada más que conversar. Le ponemos punto aparte y comenzar a averiguar. ¿Quién vendrá a pintar mi vida de colores? ¿Quién hará de mis días tiempos mejores? ¿Y quién será la indicada que no me esquive la mirada? Dicen los cuentos que soñar no cuesta nada. ¿Quién será quien me derrita con su cuerpo? ¿Y ¿Quién será con quien me pierde en lo perverso? ¿Quién escucha de estos versos? Va a comenzar con un buen beso. Será difícil encontrarla, te lo apuesto. Perdí contigo la cabeza y tu carita de princesa. Ya vente de una vez conmigo, hagamos algo no debido. Dejar de lado los modales, usar instintos animales, bailar contigo pegadito, no es cometer ningún delito. Es que tengo muchas ganas de volver a recordar la primera candidata en esta lista de enamorar. Pero si es que no eres tú, no hay nada más que conversar. Le ponemos punto aparte y comenzar a averiguar. ¿Quién vendrá a pintar mi vida de colores? ¿Quién hará de mis días tiempos mejores? ¿Quién será la indicada que no me esquive la mirada? Dicen los cuentos que soñar no cuesta nada. ¿Quién será quien me derrita con su cuerpo? ¿Quién será con quien me pierde en lo perverso? ¿Quién escuchar estos versos? Va a comenzar con un buen beso. Será difícil encontrar la tela lo puesto. ¿Quién será? ¿Quién será? No, 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 no. ¿Y quién será la indicada? Que no me esquive la mirada. Dicen los cuentos que soñar no cuesta nada. ¿Quién será? Chévere. Wow.